Aracha Leon, everyone. Welcome back to my desk for my daily Euskera practice. Yesterday's video, I was talking a lot about how I had class coming up that night and I was all prepared and ready. Uh, class got postponed again this week, so that's not actually happening until tomorrow, hopefully. So I have an extra day to relax, I guess. I've done my homework, I'm ready to go. You guys helped me correct my homework. Um, so today I thought I would go back and do some more revision because, what was it, a few days ago I was looking back on how to tell time in Basque and I thought I had it covered and then once I sat down and did it, there were a lot of things that I forgot. So I figured that's probably the case for a lot of the things I think I've learned. Um, so what's interesting is I opened my notebook for class looking for exercises or something found an old quiz from many months ago. And look at that, do you notice? Do you notice it's blank? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened, guys, but I guess I, I never took this quiz. No, I think I did. No, no, I'm not even gonna pretend. I took a different quiz online, but I think this one I just like conveniently forgot, or, or maybe I, I joined the class a little late, so maybe like she gave it to me as, as something to do on my own and I never did anyway. I figured today, since I have this quiz and it goes over things that I think I've learned, like, we should do the quiz. Um, there's, there's a lot of pages to it, so I don't know if we're gonna get through all of it today because I am a little slow with my Oskera homework, but let's just see what is here um, and what I've already covered in my class. So the first section says isan aditsa, the verb isan. Put the words in order and create sentences. I always read the instructions in English first. Perhaps I should read it in Basque. Osatu esaldiak. Yep, if I read that first, I wouldn't understand. Put the words in order and create sentences. Like how do you, how, I mean that's not a direct translation because it's literally two words in Basque. Like it can't mean all of that. Anyway. Um, so the example, it says ikashle, ni, and isan, and then you have to put them together and conjugate it. So the example response for that is ni ikashlea nice. All right, let's see how we do. First one for me to fill out, koldo irakashle isan. So we have to say that koldo is a teacher. So we start with koldo and then Irakashlea, Irakashlea, and then Isan conjugated for he would be da. Koldo Irakashlea da. Next one, Isan gu lagun. I'm guessing I'm supposed to say we're friends. So we start with gu is the preposition. Gu lagunak because we are multiple friends. And then gara. Gu lagunak gara. Next one. Aispa suek isan. I really appreciate suek is capitalized and so was gu actually in the last example. So even if you had no idea what this was or what it meant, you would at least know like, ah, oh, suek is supposed to come at the beginning of the sentence because it's capitalized. So suek uh, I spy Isan, so I guess we're saying you, multiple you, are sisters. So, suek, I spak, and then sarete. Suek, I spak, sarete. Next one, Mikel etani, lagun, Isan. So, Mikel and I are friends. Mikel etani, lagunak, so that's a that's a we, uh, gara. Mikel etani lagunek, lagunak, gara. The slightest error in pronunciation I do see can make the sentence wrong. So, last one in this section, hawek sheme isan. Oh, I'm so bad with knowing my like this, that, those. So, hawek, those, these, I don't know, we're, we're saying, whatever, this group of people here are um, Shemit sons, son, children, sons, yeah. Um, so, Hawek, to start off, 
Shemeak, because Hawek is plural. Hawek Shemeak Dira. Those are sons. These are sons? Maybe. Um, <laughs> wow, guys, if you've been following my daily practice in Eskera, I think that's the fastest I've gone through any of the exercises so far. So whether I got all of these wrong or not, I think that tells me like I feel confident in these conjugations and this exercise. I might not have gotten them all right, but like overall, I'm feeling good about it. So the next exercise is Isan Edo Egon. Which, again, if you've been following, you know how I feel about this. It's a challenge for me. So let's go. Do we want Isan, the more permanent state of being, or Egon, the more temporary state of being? And if I had prepared for this video, I would have my little cheat sheet and my notes all ready to go. But as it is, I'm just going to try to go off of memory of what situation works for which verb. So the prompt here is Itsuli Eshaldiak, and it says translate the sentences. Oh, cool. So not only is it figuring out which verb to use, it's also direct translation from English to Basque. Let's go. The first one, you, plural, are young. Okay, so we start with Suek, you plural, are young. Young is gaste. Um, gaste, yeah. Suek, gaste, and then I guess young is a temporary state because we're all slowly aging. Suek, gaste, um, blah, blah, blah. So, egon, uh, saude. I'm gonna be honest with you, I never like totally, I think I missed the classes where we learned how to conjugate Egon, so, sorry <laughs> if I got that wrong. Um, Suek, Gaste, Saude, I don't know, it doesn't say like, you are the youth, right? So my initial inclination is to write Gasteak, but that's like young, like the young people, right? So. And that's not what we're trying to say. We're trying to say, you are young. You, plural, are young. So I think it's suek gaste saude. Not 100% sure on that. Next one, I am not from California, which is a lie <laughs> because I am. So we start with ni, hello, that's I. Um, es, nice. I am not. Uh, Nias nice. Uh, California. Co. Oh, and this is where I never understand. I never remember when it should be California. <laughs> California. California co and California coa. I think it. I think it's coa like. I am not ni es nice California coa California co ni es nice California co ni es nice California coa my ear isn't really trained yet to to know which one sounds right I'm gonna say ni es nice California coa I am not from the California I am not the one from California I don't know. I'm sure you guys will be gracious to let me know in the comments um, where I'm going wrong there or if I'm right. The next one, I am not fat. So again, we're sticking with the I am not. Nias, oh wait. Is being fat a temporary or permanent state? That's an excellent existential question. <laughs> Um, I am not fat. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say that's temporary? Because it's like a physical state and we're all changing? I'm not sure. But just for the Egon practice, because I need it, I'm gonna use Egon. Nias Nago. Oh, how do you say fat? 
Huh, if they taught us how to say fat in class, I don't remember. So I'm gonna look it up in my dictionary. It's linked in the description below if you need a Basque English dictionary. It's pretty handy. It, uh, it has the words I'm looking for most of the time. Fat, let's see, of meat? No, I don't want the fat of meat. For frying? No. To get fat? Here we go, okay. Um, it says gisen or lodi to get fat gisendu loditu. So I guess either gisen or lodi are the appropriate words for being fat. So nies nago, which one will I use? How about I lost it? Gisen. Which will I remember more, gisen or lodi? I'm gonna say lodi because it sounds like a load, like a heavy load. Like you're loaded down by fat, <laughs> maybe. Um, Nias Nago Lodi. I don't know. I, I, real, I really feel like that one's wrong, but here we go. Oh, I am very tired. I just worked on this a few videos ago. You guys helped me out with it, so let's go. Ni. I'm not, I was gonna say Nia's nice because I've just been doing that. No, I am very tired. So, Ni Osho, hello, not Ashko, I'm learning. Neka tu Nago, right? Tired is a, a temporary state. Ni Osho Nakatu Nago. Yeah. Ni Osho Nakatu Nago. I am very tired. I'm not super confident with any of these. The first exercise was much smoother. Okay, last one, let's get out of here. We are at the beach. So, gu, we, at the beach. Oh, you guys just helped me with this a few videos ago too. Wow, I like it when things repeat themselves. So, gu, hon, darza, beach. Last time I forgot the suffix to say at the beach. So, um, Gu hondar san, like we're in the beach now. Um, we and then so that would be egon because you're not going to be at the beach forever. And I believe with gu it's gaude. So gu hondar san gaude. All right, this quiz. I think we're doing okay. At least like seventy five percent right. I'm feeling. I'm just gauging. Oh, cool. So the next section is basically vocabulary and we're just filling in the, uh, the blanks to complete the word. So hopefully these are words that I, I know and I remember. So the first one is beach, hondarta. Thank you. We just did that. The next one is city, which it has five spaces. I would have said hiri. But I'm thinking it's hiriya in this case because there's five blanks. Is that right? I don't know. Oh, next one is C. I believe this is a woman's name. Ichasha. Icha. Again, there's another blank at the end, so I'm thinking it's asking for Ichashoa, which is a little confusing. Thank you, whoever wrote this quiz. Um, because if you wanted us to add the article, like I feel like it should say the city and the sea, just to really drive the lesson home here about this A at the end, but whatever, nothing is perfect. You can't have everything you want, you know? Next one is park. This one, oh, oh, they're messing with me now. This one, it doesn't even have any letters. They're like, you figure it out, which is okay because park is very similar to park in English. Parkea, hello. Unless that means something totally different, but I, th I think parkea is park. Church, Elisa, I've been hearing that my whole life. I know about Basque church. We do that here in America. We have Basque masses every once in a while for special occasions, so. Elisa, next one is mountain. I feel like every example when you're learning Basque has to do with the mountain. Basque is a very mountainous culture, I guess. Um, so, Mendia, the mountain. School, Escola, thank you. Town Hall, ooh, that's not something I come across very often. Town Hall. 
and all they give me is two letters in this, so I'm going to come back to that. Next one is Sports Center. Um, key role is sports and Sports Center. I'm going to guess key role, is it Tegia or Degia? I feel like it's one of the key role Tegia, key role Degia. I want to say Kiro Tegia just because that sounds right to me, but might be totally wrong. And Bridge, Subia, hello. Uh, okay, so Town Hall, because I feel like that's a useful one to know. Not that I think I'm ever going to be in the Basque Country looking for the Town Hall and having to ask someone where the Town Hall is, but you never know. It could happen. Probably not, but... If anybody else talks to me about the town hall, maybe it's good to know. Okay, so we have town, hiri, town hall. Oh, udaleche. Udaleche. I have heard this. I don't know why that's not stinking, sinking in. Udaleche. Okay, cool. All right, I feel like I feel like one more exercise and like we're good. We're good, right? Two pages. In a day is enough. Oh wow, maybe not. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four. Ooh, there's actually four pages front and back. So 25% <laughs> of the quiz? Yeah, sure. <sighs> okay, next exercise. Adjectiboak lotu sutabeye. Lotu sutabeyak. Link the columns. So we basically have the words in Euskera, and then the words in English, and I have to match the word with its definition, its translation. So the first one, beroa, I know this means uh, hot because my last name, if you don't know, is Chirambero, and I used to ask my dad, like, what does it mean? You know, all my friends had really cool Basque names that had like really cool meanings translations, you know, having to do with where the house was in the village. And so I asked Saito, what does Chiramberro mean? And he's like, well, I don't know, doesn't really mean anything. He's like, mm, Berro is hot, so maybe something to do with hot. Okay, cool. So ever since then, um, I know Berro means hot. Dottorea. Hmm. Eh. I think it has to do with like being some sort of pretty or charming, dottorea. Um, there's words on here for pretty and words on here for elegant. I'm leaning more towards elegant, but I'm just going to leave that one for a second. The next one is eurichua, eurichua, which I, I don't think I've seen this word before, but I think euri is rain. And there's an option for rainy here, so I'm just gonna take a chance because my father literally told me today, you gotta take a chance in life sometimes. So here we go, taking a chance. Handia, hello, big. Hotza, I was always talking about hotza, which I know means cold, and I learned that the hard way because hotza to me sounds like hot. So you would think it means hot, but it's the opposite. Hotza, cold. Ichushia, ooh, I've heard this. Oh, Ichushia. Ah, man. Oh, Ichushia. I've heard this. I've heard this. I think it's ugly. I think it's a, not a nice thing to call someone. I'm going to take a chance. Ichushia, ugly. Next one, Lehora. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. One after that, though, is Polita. I've been hearing that my whole life. That one means pretty. Um, for a long time, the only thing I knew how to say in Basque, one of the few phrases that my father told me was Ni neska Polita neis. And um, for a while, that was like my little trick in the Basque country. Every time I'd go, and people would be like, do you speak Basque? And I'd be like, Ni neska Polita neis. And you know what? It was a hit. It was a hit. I mean, people were embarrassed for me, and they'd be like, Emery, you can't say that about yourself. I'm like, whatever. It's all my dad taught me. What can I do? <laughs> Which is true, though. Like, it's no lie. Um, uh, chikia is small. 
Yeah, I was like, there's no small on this list. <laughs> yes, it's there. Sabala, which, ooh, I don't, mm, I don't know that one. Mm, is it wide? Maybe I do know that one. Or Soragaria is the last one, which I feel like I've gotten this in YouTube comments before. And I think when I translated them, Soragaria, it was something like, like something great um, and there's an option here for marvelous so I'm gonna guess Soragaria is marvelous um, but let me just check the dictionary at least on the ones that I like for sure didn't know um, just to double check so Sabala I, I think just based on like the words in this list I think that one means wide but like it doesn't really come to mind as something. Sabaldu, sabal, wide, broad. Okay. So sabala is wide. And then what else do I have left? I just have, oh, lehora and dotorea. So just based on context, I'm going to guess that my initial assumption was right. So that dotorea is elegant. And that would mean that lehora must mean dry, which is. I guess I'm not used to talking about dry things. So there you go. Fill that out. I'm like, should we do more? I don't want to, but that means I probably should. So how about just one more exercise? Because that last page was like pretty straightforward, pretty easy. One last exercise. Correct the sentences. Susendu eshaldiak. Okay. This is good practice because I need to correct my own sentences all the time. So at least this time it's someone else's sentences. So the first one is a tongue twister. Why all the alliteration? Su susendaria sarete. Su susendaria sarete. I guess in order to correct these sentences, I have to know what the heck it's talking about. Susendaria. I don't know if I've come across this. Susan Shushen is like straight. Daria, the, the straight place, the straight people. Susan Du, Susan Daritza, Susan Dari, oh, leader. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. The leader, Susan Dari, director or manager, Susan Dari. So, okay. Su susandaria sarete, so that is not accurate. So if susandari means leader, um, su susandaria sarete, um, we're only talking about one leader, like you are the leader. So I'm going to say su susandaria sara instead of sarete. Next one, Josheba etani. Mediku gara. Yosheba and I are doctors. So if Yosheba and I are doctors, that means doctors should be plural and it is not. So Yosheba etani medikuak gara. The verb is good. I like that. Okay. Next one. Su echean saudete. What the? Oh, is saudete how you? conjugate egon in the you plural form if so let me go back and change my answer it's in the last page i wrote suek gaste saude i guess that should be suek gaste saudete unless this is totally messing me up and the whole point is i'm supposed to correct the sentences and that's not how you conjugate egon and i just don't know because i didn't really study this lesson but lucky for me i'll think on my dictionary right in the middle has a cheat sheet of verbs. So, let's see. Why does it not have you? It has nago, dago, gaude, and daude. Are you not supposed to? I think, I think I've gone too far. Maybe there's a different verb chart further back. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Egon, here we go. Yeah, saudete. Saudete is the way. So that is correct. So at least maybe. Su um, echan saudete, you plural are in the house. I think that works. 
It's possible, if that's what we're trying to say. Um, Sure ama denda dago, your mom store is in, is, is. Your mom is store. That doesn't work. So let's say your mom is in the store. Sure ama dendan. And then dago is not the, yeah, yeah, your mom, that's a she. So dago works. Sure ama dendan dago, I think. Last one in this section, es gu gaude elisan. What? No, that is not how you do the negative. <laughs> so we're saying you're not in church or in the church, or we, sorry. We are not in the church. Gu es gaude elisan. Gu es gaude elisan. I think, not 100% sure. You know, that wasn't that wasn't really hard work. I don't like I felt felt like I got most of that. It wasn't hard work, but Jesus, it is just mentally exhausting just doing this. <laughs> Even like the easy stuff or like the revision, because this is a quiz from units one through six. And in my class right now, we're in unit 12. So like in theory, like this should have been pretty easy for me. And so far the beginning was. So I'm gonna stop there for, for today. <sighs> because you know, good good work. Um, but there's a there's a lot more here, so I think I might have to do another video going through the rest of this quiz because my work here is not done. I'm just I'm good for a day, like half an hour a day. Keep it simple. Um, and so my class is supposed to be rescheduled for yeah tomorrow night. So that gives me tomorrow, I guess, to to do the rest of the quiz. So that's the plan that's my lesson plan for myself this week if you have any questions for me please let me know in the comments if i did any of this wrong and you want to share um, the correct answer and explain to me where i messed up i'm always very happy to read those comments because that is how you learn making mistakes and learning from them and hoping that you remember what you learned so you don't mistake make those mistakes again and with that i will say to you a phrase my father says to me Shariarte, which I don't know directly what that translates to, but some variation of see you later. Yeah, let's go with that. So if you enjoyed watching me struggle through these exercises, if you're trying to learn Basque and you find it helpful to watch me try to learn Basque, if you speak Basque and you just want to help me out, I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to the Hella Basque YouTube channel and come back and we'll do this again every day until maybe I learn this language. <laughs> It's a tall order, but we'll see how it goes. So thank you anyway for being here. I appreciate it. And hopefully see you in the next time. So, shariyate. <laughs>